Hi guys, today we'll be showing you how to successfully downgrade your iPhone 4S running the latest iOS 9.3.5 back to iOS 6.1.3 If you have an iPhone 4S or if you are still using it but have intentionally or unintentionally upgraded to the latest 9.3.5 which is the worst iOS that makes your iPhone 4S painfully slow You can now downgrade it back to the best version of iOS for your iPhone 4S which is iOS 6.1.3 successfully for me, I am currently using an iPhone 6S running the latest iOS 11.0.3 but I am also using an iPhone 4S running iOS 9.3.5 However, I barely use my iPhone 4S because of how slow it is That's why I have been searching for a way to downgrade my iPhone's iOS back to iOS 6.1.3 for a long time with little hope of success because Apple is known to block its iPhone users from downgrading back to lower iOS versions so as to unconsciously force us as the consumers to buy a new iPhone however today is my lucky day that I have finally found the best way to downgrade my iPhone for us running iOS 9.3.5 back to 6.1.3 successfully I have spent my whole day testing this method to make sure it works and now I want to share it with you and I hope you like it and find it useful so without further ado let's get started First, let's make it clear here, this method works on any iOS from iOS 8.4.1 up to 9.3.5. Let's say if you are using iOS 9.3.5 like I am using now, you take a look at my iPhone, go to setting, general, about, and you can see my version of iOS is 9.3.5. Also, I am showing you on Mac computer as it is easier and it has higher chance of success than using a Windows computer. So you need to make sure that so you need to make sure that you jailbreak your iPhone first by downloading the latest jailbreak tool called Phonix. So you just go to Safari and copy and paste the link here. I have included this link in the description below to download the jailbreak tool here. So just click download here and also it tells you the instruction of how to jailbreak. And remember this is the semi jailbreak, it's not the untethered jailbreak. But you don't need to have a untethered jailbreak because you don't need to restart your iDevice. After you download it, like I have it here, Phonix 4. And you also need CD Impactor in order to install this IPF file into your device. So to download, just go to Google, type in CD Impactor and here. So just download it for the Mac version and install it. After you download and install it, now it's time to jailbreak. So make sure you jailbreak your iPhone first in order for this method to work. So just open CD Impactor by typing Impactor here. Now you drag and drop on CD Impactor and type in your Apple ID and password. Click OK. Now let it install. You look at my iPhone screen. After it completed installing, it will show you an app, a new icon. Done. As you can see on my iPhone screen, there's a new app called Phonix. So you cannot open this app yet. You have to go to Settings, General, scroll down, and you see Device Management. Click on that. And then click Trust. Trust again. Done. Then you go back and open the app. Now at the bottom you can see the word prepare for jailbreak. Click on that. Click accept. And then at the bottom you see proceed with jailbreak. Click on that. And now click begin installation. And you wait and choose the top. You say use provided offsets. And now it start jailbreaking. Now it's rebooting my iPhone, just wait for it. Now you can see CDR here, now you can click on CDR. Just wait for it, first time it may load very slowly. Just wait for it to finish loading. Just click ignore. Now you go to sources, you click edit. Click add. You need to add a new source. It's called repo. 
the t i h m star s t a r dot net and then click add source wait for it to download the source and the packages click return cd now what you need is to search click on search now you search for a package called kdf here kdfu app click on it and you can see here they say modify even though you haven't installed it yet just click on modify and they have to downgrade and install just click install click confirm just let it download and install the tweak now it's reloading now you click return to CD here. okay so go back to the home screen now you will have an app called KDFU app on your home screen here when you open it you will see like this but ignore it first you don't need to use it now the next thing you have to do is you have to open iTunes click on your device and now you can see the serial number what you want to do is to click on it until it changes to ECID click like that click again you see here now it's changed to ECID right click on it copy and then this is very important do not quit iTunes just minimize it make sure it's running in the background because iTunes is very important at this stage now you open terminal to activate terminal you just click command space to activate spotlight and then you type in terminal here click enter now your terminal is running now you have to type in CD desktop click enter because everything I have is on desktop that's why I type CD desktop so make sure you have download these two files here as well it's called future restore underscore Mac OS and TSS checker underscore Mac OS I have included a link to download these two files in the description below and also make sure that you download iOS 6.1.3 firmware as well from this website I have also included the link to this website in the description below after you download it put all of these on desktop so that you can access it easily and now you have to type in exactly what I type here you type in full stop slash TSS checker underscore Mac OS space dash D space iPhone 4 comma 1 it means iPhone 4s space dash E and then you have to click command V to paste your EC ID at the moment that you copied from iTunes space again dash I space and then you type in 6 point one point three this is the iOS version that you want to downgrade to and then space again dash O space dash s you type this line in because you want to save the shsh block so you click enter so you just wait for it to extract that shsh block for you now it's done you would see here to say iOS 6.1.3 for device iPhone 4 comma 1 is being signed and if you take a look on my desktop here I also get this file so after it says this it will save this SHSH block on my desktop now the next thing you do is go to your iDevice here you can see and now it's time for you to use the KDFU app click on it now you turn it on one by one you click on the find bundle first and now you click on download IBSS let it download okay now the SBSS downloaded now you click on the next one is find IBSS and it say found now and then you click on PWN IBSS and at the bottom you can see it say ready to enter KDFU mode so at the bottom you see the word enter KDFU click on that now your phone should be in the black screen which means it is in the DFU mode now Go back to your to your computer and you may see some arrows or some pop-up notifications from iTunes. Just ignore it. Now just go back to the terminal and then you type exactly what you see here. So you type in full stop slash future restore underscore Mac OS and then space dash dash latest dash baseband space dash dash use dash P W N D F U space dash T space. Now you drag the SHSH block here onto the terminal app. 
drag and drop and now you drag and drop the iOS firmware 6.1.3 on the terminal app as well now you click enter now just sit back and relax while the terminal app will do the rest of the work for you it will start restoring your device to iOS 6.1.3 it may take a while, so you can just go and enjoy your coffee or do something else first. Leave it maybe around one hour, it would be done. Just ignore the problem. You may see your iPhone screen turn into the green mode, that's fine. Don't worry about that, it's just part of the process. Now you can see, it has the Apple logo on my iPhone. And that Apple logo is the Apple logo of 6.1.3 firmware. To sit tight. Like I said, it's around one hour, but it may be less. It depends. And now you can see on my iPhone screen, it starts restoring now. For your information, usually the terminal app doesn't look like this. I just want to change it to look like a hacker but you can change that by going to preferences here you can choose here usually you may have the white one the basic one it would have the background white and your characters would be in black color but like I said I just want to change it to look more professional or look like a hacker that's why I change it to this color but you don't want to it's up to you it's your choice choose the color that you like now it's verifying the restore Now we're almost complete. Now it's completing. You can see on my iPhone screen, almost complete. Now you can see on the computer, it said done, restoring, succeeded. Now you just wait for your iPhone to finish rebooting and then you're done. Now you can see, this is the screen of iOS 6.1.3, slide to unlock. You can hear that sound, click that arrow. Now start using iPhone. Voila, you can see this is iPhone 6.1.3. If you go to the settings, general, about, you can see here version 6.1.3. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can downgrade your iPhone 4S from 9.3.5 back to 6.1.3 successfully. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up because I've tried very hard to find and simplify this method for you. So I have to try it several times using various techniques until it works. It takes me the whole day to just test this method. Also, please comment down below of your thoughts and problems that you might encounter while you're doing this downgrading process. I'll try to respond to it as soon as possible. And to support us, please subscribe to our channel for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.